Black diamonds, also known as carbonado, are some of the most mysterious and unique gemstones found on Earth, believed by some scientists to have even come from meteorites. But how can you tell if your black diamond is real or fake, especially when you're at home? One of the simplest and most effective ways to check is by using the fire test. Here's how to safely perform it and what to look for. 1. Preparation Before starting, make sure you have a lighter or candle flame, tweezers or metal tongues, a glass of cold water, the stone you want to test, clean it first with a soft cloth. Place yourself in a safe, open area, away from anything flammable. 2. The fire test Hold your stone gently with tweezers and place it directly in the flame for about 30 to 40 seconds, then immediately drop it into the glass of cold water. What happens next will tell you a lot. Real black diamond, carbonado, it will remain completely intact. No cracks, no smoke marks, and no color change. Fake diamond, glass, quartz, or synthetic, it may crack, shatter, or lose color due to sudden temperature change. Now three, why fire test works diamonds, including black diamonds, are made of pure carbon atoms arranged in a very strong crystal structure. They have extremely high thermal resistance and can easily withstand temperatures over a thousand degrees Celsius without damage. Imitations like glass or cubic zirconia can't handle this kind of heat. That's why they break or lose color. Now four, additional tips. Use white light afterward to check for natural texture. Real black diamonds have tiny pores and irregular surfaces. Combine this test with a diamond tester or scratch test for even better accuracy. Never perform the test on valuable jewelry, only on loose stones. Conclusion Testing a black diamond carbonado at home with fire is a fast and simple way to get an idea of its authenticity. While real black diamonds will survive the test without any damage, fake ones will easily show signs of heat stress. However, for 100% certainty, it's always best to visit a gemologist or certified jeweler.